What's going on everyone? I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that everyone's having a great day, and thank you for joining me for your daily dose of Star Wars. I love The Force Awakens and I'm super excited for The Last Jedi, and one of the things that I loved about The Force Awakens is the fact that it left a lot of room for the story to develop, and it gave each character its own realm of possibility and a lot of room to grow. Whether you like it or not, J.J. Abrams did direct the movie, and whether you like that or not, that makes him a source of canon. Now more than ever, especially since he is back on the Star Wars train for Episode 9. This is both a good and a bad thing because we have extra context for the movie with a version of The Force Awakens that has commentary on it, and this is also a bad thing because JJ can sometimes say one thing and then say it means something else, and then at that point it doesn't matter what it means because everyone's already grabbed their headlines with the first thing he said, and his revision doesn't matter. And that is what happened when it came to Ray's parents. He said one thing and had to revise it, and now no one is on the same page. JJ said two things, but essentially he said the same thing, and I want to clarify what he meant. Since it's been two years since the movie came out, and despite my efforts with other videos about the topic, it hasn't stuck, and I think that's because everyone thinks that the quotes mean two different things, but I don't think that they necessarily do. The first thing he said was at the Tribeca Film Festival on April 15th, 2016 and it was a kid who asked him who Ray's parents were. He sat there, and he took, honestly, 20 seconds before he answered. Ray's parents are not in episode 7, so I can't possibly say, in this moment, who they are. But I will say, it is something that Ray thinks about, too. He had 20 seconds to come up with that. The next day, on April 16th, 2016, he had to clarify this because every news site took her parents are not in The Force Awakens to the next level, and he revised that when Entertainment Weekly reached out to him and asked for clarification, to which he responded, What I meant was that she doesn't discover them in Episode 7, not that they may not already be in her world. Everybody seems to know the first thing he said, but nobody seems to want to remember the second thing. And that would be okay if we actually looked at the quote, because he did take 20 seconds to answer. So it wasn't like a slip of the tongue, oh, they're not in it, but rather it was deliberate. It can't not be deliberate if he took 20 seconds to come up with it. If Rey ends up being a Skywalker, which I still think she's Luke's daughter, JJ would be right with his first statement because he said Rey's parents aren't in The Force Awakens. Parents is plural. So if Luke is Rey's father, then JJ isn't technically lying because Luke is only one of the two parents. Then his second statement, where they may already be in her world but she doesn't discover them, would make his first statement true too because her parents aren't in The Force Awakens in the sense that we don't know who they are. They aren't given to us in the credits as Rey's Parent 1 and Rey's Parent 2. JJ didn't want to have to pull another con lie, so by taking 20 seconds to come up with that first answer, he's technically not lying and it still allows for everyone in the movie to be her parents. However, if it really was that calculated, then this would rule out Han and Leia being her parents since they were both in The Force Awakens. That wraps things up for me here in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. If you're a daily coffee drinker and want to be one of the first to see a new video as soon as I can get it up, hit that bell down there to receive a notification on your iOS or Android device. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Keep loving Star Wars. Peace.